Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you. We dissect issues irrespective of our languages and of course along different perspectives. Welcome to The Advocates on Plus TV Africa. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. In other words, we tell it like it is. I'll be discussing our popular national phrases that we often laugh away and also speak to our youths. And I'm saying you're not too young to run. On the other hand, Bolaho is seriously appalled by our traumatic educational infrastructure in Nigeria. Well, Sayidu sheds lights on our country's forex ban and food importation. He's asking, are we gradually gravitating towards recession? We'll find out. In another light, Evans questions our religious doctrines as a nation. Are we fighting God or owning him? Mm. That's quite interesting. Bring it on, Evans. And our main man, Libras, gives a breakdown of our unity pattern in Nigeria. He's saying, injustice or unity, which is it? And when all is said and done, we all stand behind a single vision of a freer, fairer, and better society. Allow me to lead the way right up to the break. To restore accountability is essential to the economic and fiscal health of our nation. And so I speak on off national coinages and popular phrases. Today, I attempt a chronicle of the coinages and popular phrases from the drama we experience in governance at the national level. We are a nation of slangs and coinages. In the 80s, the iconic Andrew came with, man, I'm checking out. Andrew not check out again, oh. Nigeria will survive. Then Omario Gay yelled in our song, but Nigerians continued to check out. The unforgettable fighter of fake drugs in Nigeria, the Amazon Dr. Dora Kweli, preferred Nigeria to Niger, favored by younger Nigerians. Do you remember? And we still mouth not too young to run, but we haven't specified the percentage of youths we need in governance for continuity. Let's not go to the phenomenon that Hush Puppy was before another country did what we couldn't do. He has now become a metaphor, just like Shina Rambo and Anini. Do you remember? Lazy Nigerian youths, are you there? Nigeria is never short of fanciful, catchy phrases for developmental issues, which sadly haven't moved us forward. I'll start with prepare to be counted. That was a 1973 census campaign under General Gowan how we loved Green Revolution and Operation Feed the Nation. There was the dramatic anti-corruption X squad of the 70s, long before EFCC and the people-oriented Amotekun. Mamsa morphed into national orientation and then lost the steam, just as Ompadek morphed to NDDC, yet the looting continued. In politics, there was the violent Operation Wete, the protests that led to the first military coup in 1966 and the campaign mantra recently, Otoge in Kwara State. And what about acronyms? Never in short supply. There was Y in the 80s before Kai in Lagos. And some of us still shudder at the memories of SAP. What about OPC, LASMA, and Festac 77 was such a jamboree. Our first ladies have had their moments too. Miriam Babingida is so unforgettable with a better life for rural women from where many women did better life. Miriam Abacha with Family Support Program FSP and then the entertaining patients Jonathan, she gifted us with. Now only you are home. Chai, there is God. -o. And before you say, it's okay, it's okay, off the mic, 
let me say that our scriptwriters for the nation must know that while we laugh and are entertained at the center, we must cut through the slangs and coinages. We'll be 60 on October 1st, and I work will be coining more phrases and slangs moving forward, or won't we? But for how long are we going to be laughing away accountability and our collective well-being? We can do better. Bola, <clears throat> hmm. uh, you're doing hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it, it speaks to how a lot of times we we embrace the drama of very serious issues of state. And in the process of uh, embracing the drama, um, we tend to forget the substance. And that happens all the time. Uh, whether you're talking of uh, snake eating money or of the mic, honorable minister of the mic and all the rest. Um, if we're not careful, even the of the mic might be off the table, and we won't remember because there are just so many things going on at the same time. I hope that um, as we turn 60, uh, maybe that's a little bit of that will change in, in how we can enjoy the drama, if, if, if that is enjoyment, but at the same time, not lose focus of what matters in those dramas. Yeah, Evans, um, you are you losing focus or <laughs> you're, you're on focus? Well, I, I don't think I'm losing focus. Um, it is inevitable that we have these coinages and um, society exists for the purposes of sociological development. And then um, the coinages are meant to serve a certain purposes. So that means uh, you are disagreeing with... Uh... Yes, I'm disagreeing with him to the extent that there are many sides to an issue. There is the lighter side. The entertainment There's part of it. There's an entertainment part mm -hmm. from where the comedians will source their resources. And then there is a serious side of it. There is the activist side of it and so many things. So I do not think we are losing substance, but I think that we are praising issues according to our level of understanding. No, but and, I, I, I want to disagree because um, I think um, the point is, yes, why we agree that there are all of these sides, but you find out that in most times, the comical side takes the top burner, yeah. while the real issue you know, is completely neglected until another one comes. Precisely the One point. would have expected that um, the... Off the mic. The off the mic will, be, will provoke us enough to say, you know what, this is something that is about to go down. And we can't just let them put off the mic on this issue and then everybody goes to sleep. But rather, we took the off the mic and left the issue of the money that was stolen. And, and that, I, I don't know if um, Seydou agrees with me. Yeah, yeah, well, um, I, I'm looking at it, I would like to look at it from another angle. You know, they say uh, politicians tell, uh, politicians are, they tell their citizens what they want to hear, right? So we have situations where the expectations from them, uh, you said uh, Mariam Babangida had the uh, yeah, better rural, life, better rural life for uh, rural, rural, rural women. women. And immediately after that, rather than continuing the good work that she has family started, support program. Mariam Abacha came with uh, family support. Family program, support. Yeah. So there's this this thing that we need, we need to Lack create our own no continuity right. because we don't have a collective goal. You know, we talk about 2022, 20, we've been having 20, 20, 20 <laughs> years. 10, plans, 2020, but there's and no, now 2030. So we just, we just shock all of these deficiencies with coinages like you mentioned, you know, without really looking at the content. There's no continuity. Everybody wants to have something that you'll give to their, their base, if you like, you right. know, that this is what we have done. And they would coin some kind of whatever it is, you know, that works for them. So it's all politics, really. And yeah. again, you know, I always say that these are the people that we have chosen. You know, we need to we, we begin to sieve for people that will actually deliver. You know, people that will continue good projects that have been started. For instance, we're having road project. There's a transport thing going on now. Can we? Can another government come and build on the successes? And In move other on words, and have we the plan? people must begin to ask for continuity. Absolutely. If this person did it right. There's no point for somebody else to discontinue that and start his own. Absolutely. That will be discontinued again. Absolutely. 
And so we have all of these Operation Feed the Nation and then Green Revolution. No, I think, yeah, Green Ve uh, Operation Feed the Nation was for Green Revolution. And then, and then here we are today with agriculture. And we are yet to feed the nation. We are yet to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Nigeria and its phrases. It's a pity. After the break, Bolahon talks on our educational infrastructure.